New year, new goals, new objectives, new means, new ends. What's up, everybody? Long time no see. Uh, I know recently before, about four or six months ago, I said, four to six months ago, I said that I was going to be more active on YouTube and try and get more videos out for my guys and, and the people who follow me and, and the people who stuck by me uh, since the channel was born on the first of last year. Uh, I really do thank you guys for that. And I thank you guys for standing by me and all the new subscribers who have come uh, based on the content. Uh, I appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button, and this would all, this would none of this would be possible if it weren't for you guys uh, helping me get the channel out and promoting the videos, the videos you like, the videos you want to see, the videos you want to share, uh, whether you see them in good or bad light. Uh, and I also want to thank the guys who come to the channel and have different uh, differentiating opinions, or difference, differences in opinions, rather, and um, don't necessarily agree with you know the, the ideas or the opinions of people who sus generally subscribe to the channel. I also want to thank those guys and girls too uh, because when we bring difference of opinions to the table and we're able to deliberate upon them and over them, uh, we can come up with a, a solution to the problem or a compromise if you will and make both ends of the spectrum happy and I think that's the ultimate goal of politics. Uh, over the last 150, 200 years or so, that whole process has been corrupt. Uh, because there is generally just a two-party system, and you know those guys are kind of all in collusion with one another. Uh, I think that what we need is is a larger system where there are more ideas or differences in ideas coming to the table, and then it's not letting you know one side control the entire outcome of a discussion. Uh, I think that we need to have everybody's opinion uh, put into this basket, and then we make a decision. Uh, or compromise based off such, but uh, obviously with a population of 315 million people, 316 million people, whatever you, you want to uh, call it, uh, having a pure democratic system uh, probably wouldn't be the most efficient means to affect political uh, outcomes and discussions. With that being said, I want to take this opportunity to introduce you guys to my new free-floating arm for my LR-308 or my uh, Interdiction Recon, as I called it or dubbed it in prior videos, previous videos. Uh, these rails are made by Shadow Ops Weaponry, or sold by Shadow Ops Weaponry, rather. And um, first, let me preface this by saying that uh, Paul Russ, who is, I believe, the owner, or one of the owner, or one of the founders, rather, which is the same thing, of uh, Shadow Ops Weaponry. Uh, the guy's an outstanding guy, great guy. Uh, I have nothing but the utmost respect for him. Uh, these rails, the rails, the standard edition, which are black, look the same way. They're the same, but they're just black. Uh, they were actually out of stock. They were on back order. He was allowing orders for them to be on back order. And um, not even 24 hours after I placed the order for these rails, he contacted me in an email, and he basically told me what was going on. And he said, I don't have any black ones. I do have three uh, flat, dark, flat dark earth ones that, uh, you know, if you want one of those, I can get it out for you ASAP. And uh, if any of you guys or gals who've been following me know, both of my rifles, all of my guns have been painted in this kind of color pattern. So I told him, I said, well, I'm going to be painting the rails anyway. Uh, as soon as you can get your hands on them and get them into a box with my address on them, feel free to get them out here because I want them ASAP. And uh, he didn't waste any time. Uh, less than 48 hours later, they were already out on the um, truck. The only, hold, the only hold up that I had was from the USPS uh, after the package left Virginia or left the ship, the facility that he has in Virginia, or his, one of the headquarters, if you will, uh, the United States Postal Service basically had my package in limbo for a week in Virginia, uh, right outside Dulles, or right inside Dulles, Virginia. And, um, you know, I, I contacted Paul and basically told him, you know, hey, I don't know what's going on. Am I looking at a lost package here? Or is this just some mistake that can be, you know, rectified once we call in and see what's going on? And uh, sure enough, that same exact day, he contacted the post office, uh, filed a delayed shipment report, and uh, I think not even 72 hours later, I finally got an update on the tracking information after having not seen a single update in over seven days. And uh, I think three, three days later, my package was at, at my front door. Uh, so, you know, those guys have great customer service. He really cares about the customer. Uh, he's not just here to collect money, you know, in the industry. That clearly is clearly has a very high demand. Uh, he really cares about the overall happiness of his customers. And for that, he has my utmost respect. Um, Shadow Ops Weaponry, from my understanding, is a relatively new company. 
these guys uh, seeing a large, I guess you could say a large growth coming into 2013, leaving out of 2012 with the Sandy Hook crisis and the gun crunch that came with it. And uh, these guys have been booming on success as of late, but he's, he's still been maintaining the level head and uh, not letting the money get the best of him. That much I think I can say. But uh, without further ado, I guess it's time to introduce you guys to the rails. And for, before I start this video officially, I just want to say that I do not work for Shadow Ops Weaponry. I am not employed by them. I am not a paid promoter. Uh, I merely got a good product, and I decided to voice my opinion about how it's customer service related to my reception of that product. Uh, and I think that much I can uh, do. But anyway, without further ado, these are the Shadow Ops ETA 308 Quad Rail. Um, it's a very light rail. It's not very heavy at all. Uh, I don't think I know the exact weight. I probably can get that for you. No, it's not listed on their website. Uh, but it's not heavy at all, and I don't have a scale to weigh. I really don't care. Uh, I'm one of those guys who has that 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 uh, ammo that if you find a gun to be too heavy, then you probably should be in a gym. Uh, I mean, uh, unless it's a machine gun or something like that, but. Uh, a rifle that has a bipod on it, and you're probably going to be carrying in a sling position around your, you know, shoulders or whatever the case may be. If you find 10, 11, 12 pounds to be heavy, then you probably should be in the gym. And that's just my opinion. I know some of you guys want to agree with it. You think lighter is better, and uh, that's your opinion. And you know, I'm not going to lambast you for it. I'm not going to hate on you for it. It's just the way you think, and I respect that. But I think that a 11, 12, 13 pound uh, rifle that was designed for long range shooting. Uh, that has some quality glass on the top of it, some quality components into it. If it if it's around that weight range and can really show itself for that need to be that much weight, then I think that if you can't carry it effectively and efficiently, then you probably should be in the gym. That's just the way I feel about it. But anyway, uh, these rails, as of right now, and as of when I purchased them, weigh or cost rather. Sorry about that. A hundred and forty nine dollars ninety nine cents plus shipping and handling. Uh, the barrel nut has a $25 value. Uh, it comes with the shell and it comes with the core on the inside that spins freely. And then you lock it down with an Allen key here. And um, basically what it is, is it's just a new system. As you can see, it says patent pending. It's a new system for locking down rails. And then once the barrel nut is on the rifle, you uh, lock it down by taking the two Allen screws and put, putting the rail on, on the barrel nut. Imagine it's been inside the, the uh, rails. And then you lock it down with two, you got four screws, so it's two on either axis of the uh, rail. Or at the two o'clock, the ten o'clock, the seven o'clock, and the four o'clock positions, if that makes sense, or on the 30 minute, or whatever. But anyway, and that's the way you handle that. The rail is 12 inches and 9 and 16 of an inch long. I would just say 13 inches for all intents and purposes, or 12 and a half, however you feel comfortable saying it. Um, it's a rifle length rail, obviously. Uh, and they're just good quality rails. They're made out of 6061T uh, aircraft grade aluminum and mil spec anodized. Uh, they're from the website, they're built to last. And uh, I don't think you're going to get any better than this, especially when you're paying $150 overall or for the base price, if you will, for these rails. And then you just pay shipping. And since he ships USPS, at least that's what he did in my case. Uh, shipping shouldn't be much more than fifteen dollars contingent in the United States. Um, so you know, some great rails. Uh, I'm, I can't wait to get them on. I, I'm waiting on a few other parts. I'm waiting on the low profile gas block and the barrel nut wrench for the 308. Uh, since I have a Bushmaster ORC 308, from what I've read and what I've been told, it can use a standard AR-15 barrel nut wrench. I'm hoping that to be the case because. I've been waiting uh, seven days so far, and it'll be ten days total for this wrench to arrive, thanks to UPS and their inactivity on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't know really how much to say. If you guys have any questions about the rails, something that I didn't cover. I mean, like I said, I don't know how far you want me to go in this, in this review of this product. Uh, but if you guys have any questions that, I can, uh, that you need answering before you look into these rails or if you are looking into them, Feel free to leave a comment in the message section or send me a message in my inbox and I'll get back to it uh, as, as quickly as possible and I'll ask some questions. Uh, oh, here's one key thing. This rail is built for DPMS, but it's built for the DPMS low profile rail, rail height. So if you have an older DPMS with the high profile rail height or that was made prior to 2009, then this rail will not 
made up properly because your receiver rail will be higher than the rails themselves. So unless you're cool with that look, then you know you can rock them. But uh, if you want that that uh, I believe they call it a monolithic look where the receiver rail is aligned with the uh, free floating arm, then you're gonna need a 2009 or later or yeah or recent. Let's just say recent so there's no confusion. 2009 or recent or younger if you will rifle, um, and it has to feature the low pro rifle or uh, receiver rail height. High profile were not made up properly you will have a bit of a, a height difference and um, that may not be good for cosmetics if you're all into that uh, uh, they I guess you could say notch during dented the rails on the sides bottom and top or sides and bottom sorry not the top uh, to decrease weight um, it, might, it may or may not be negligible uh, I don't know it's just a few shavings of metal but hey I definitely see the intent uh, it looks to be made out of billet of course you can see the detail within it. Uh, from what I can see, fantastic rails. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm happy about them. As you can see, they feature the same paint scheme as my AR, my Saiga, and my uh, 308, which is not out right now. Uh, so, for what it's worth, uh, I would say these should be some great rails. They should f fulfill their purpose, serve their function. And um, once I get them on, I'm looking at Monday afternoon, depending on what time ZPS comes in, because I have to be to work later on in the afternoon. But if they come in 1, 2 o'clock, I think I have a, a wide enough gap to get these uh, rails on uh, the proper way and to get a video out to you guys. Uh, so like I said before, you guys got any questions, anything you want to know about these rails, or just in general, uh, anything under the sun, I'm willing, I'm willing to, to talk about it if need be. Feel free, leave a comment, or, you know, Leave a uh, uh, leave me a message in my inbox, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if I can't, please just don't don't get impatient. I'm usually I'm on YouTube every night. Sometimes I just don't get the email, or it ends up getting uh, you know covered by some other emails or something like that. Because I'm getting like 40, 50 emails a day just from a bunch of websites and stuff about Second Amendment and all that stuff. But anyway, that's not important. What is important is like I said, if you got questions, you want something answered as it pertains to these rails. Uh, or anything in general, leave a comment or leave me an inbox message and I'll get back to it as quickly as possible. And um, I'm looking forward to helping you guys out. You know, like I said, uh, I'm starting to feel more and more comfortable in the AR platform. Looking at building the second 308, I got a pistol on the way. Looking at building another AR 15, uh, and I may get a pump action shotgun. Not sure on the shotgun just yet because maybe, you know, I have a semi automatic Saga 12. So that may kind of defeat the purpose. Obviously, the 308. Is, I just like the platform. I think 308 is a fantastic round. Uh, the other platform, an AR-15, uh, would be a 760 by 39. I found a company that makes a quality bolt, uh, and actually right here in Florida. So uh, provided that they can maintain the stock on those bolts, then I may decide to go that route with my next AR-15. If not, just build the upper. Uh, but that's a future project. Uh, that should be coming out in the summer. Uh, but for right now, uh, I'm going to leave it off with this because I don't want this video to get too long. This is Spirit of Liberty 1776 saying Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, you guys have a great day. Great month, great year, just in case I don't see you or hear from you again. <laughs> and uh, that's all. Peace.